Okay. So what I'm going to do is go to Mix, and in the front viewport, I'm going to create a plane. I only need uh, one polygon, so I'm just going to right-click on each of uh, these options here. So you only get one polygon. I'm going to press F3, I mean F4, and press G on my keyboard to get out of the grid. And I'm going to do this for all the, all the viewports. F3, F4, G, F3, F4, G, F3, F4, G. OK, this is just how I like to work. OK, so what I'm, it doesn't matter how big the polygon is, but just a decent size would be really nice. So what I'm going to do is press M on my keyboard. I just press on this material editor icon up here. I'm just going to press M on my keyboard. When I get my uh, material editor, I'm going to select an empty slot, go to diffuse, but click on the box next to it, click on that, go to bitmap, uh, find my image, wherever it is, on desktop, tutorial, and there it is. I'm just going to open that. It's going to ask me if, I'm, if I want to collapse all layers or select individuals. I'm going to collapse them all. And here, I've got my image ready. I'm just going to click go to parent, so I'll go back to my original uh, material screen. So as you can see, I've got this M here. Now what I'm going to do is, as if you look at it, if I just double click on it and it's not opening up, but never mind. Um, if I just use this now, if I drag and drop it there, I'll just select my image plane and select uh, the assign material to selection. Uh, and if I select uh, show standard mapping viewport, I will be able to see my image plane. Now, it looks fine actually, it doesn't look too bad. So what I'm going to do now is, is to show you, see if I rotate around, as you can see, it's kind of getting dark. I'm just going to, with the object selected, with the plane selected, I'm going to press Z so I zoom into it. And you look at it, in front it looks quite decent and it looks, you know, it's all right. But when I rotate around it, it looks kind of dark. So how do I get rid of that? I'm going to go to my material editor, but I'm going to select that, uh, the slot that's got the uh, image plane on it. I'm going to go to color section and I'm going to, set that to 100, all the way to 100. Now when I rotate around it, it will not get dark. It will always be bright and I can use it. But what if I had created a different size of uh, plane, like say something like that, if you know, I mean, basically if it looked stretched or something like that, say if I've got this, uh, I had it at this size and it looked like this. So how do I sort this out? Because you don't want to model your uh, character when it looks like this. So what I do, I'm going to go to the modifier list, um, click on my modifier list, uh, press U on my keyboard, so I go all the way down to my uh, U section, I'm going to click UVW map. And when I come here, I'm going to go to bitmap fit. I'm going to click on this, and it should basically open the folder that my file is in it. If not, we'll just basically find that. I'm just going to find my file again and click open. And basically, again, click OK because I don't want to uh, select individual layers. I want to collapse all layers. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it has uh, basically pro uh, projected the, the actual uh, image size on my plane. So basically, now what I can do, it's really important to make sure that before you, you uh, apply your UVW mapping to your plane, make sure you do not convert to editable poly. Make sure you go to the modifier list and you, you make sure you've got your plane here. So basically, because I'm in my front viewport and I only want the front face here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the plane and I'm going to get the size kind of accurate. Say something like that. But what I can do is now click on the little plus sign next to UVW mapping, click on the plus size, go to gizmo, and have my move tool selected, or press W on your keyboard, and I'm gonna now with this I can just move the image around, and that not move my uh, move around my actual uh, plane. I can move it up and down. I can do what I want right now, and then I'm gonna go to back to my go back to my plane, have it kind of you know smaller like this. Okay, it looks fine right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the image plane for side. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to press E on my keyboard, or just select the uh, rotate tool, and I'm also going to uh, hit A on my keyboard, or just select, select, select this angle snap toggle up here, and I'm going to hold shift, and in the X axis, or the uh, green uh, circle here, I'm going to hold shift first, click and drag to left, and as you can see, 
I'm getting this yellow text which, which is telling me um, I'm snapping it to 30, 35, 40, 45, and also, also I can see that at the bottom. So I'm just going to rotate this round 90 degrees. And when it comes here, I'm just going to click OK. You can name it if you want, but OK. So it, uh, the reason that it was a snapping in, into five, uh, into like uh, five degree, is because we selected, we had this on. If we hadn't, it would just, uh, uh, it would be rotated normally. But because we wanted it to be precise and right at 90 degrees, this is what we did. So I'm just going to uh, hit W on my keyboard or select my move tool. Just move it to uh, right a bit. I'm going to go to the left, and I, I still see the front of me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to my modifier panel, select my gizmo, and this is very important. Remember, you do not want to move it up and down. You only need to move it right and left, because if, if you move it up and down, it will not match with your image plane on, on the front viewport. So I'm just going to move it on the x-axis, like so, like this. Uh, actually, I'm going to increase the size of my plane. I'm just going to go back to my plane and kind of like increase the size like that. But actually, I want it to be, uh, I want the face to be looking at the other side because if I press P on my keyboard, go to my perspective view, as you can see, they don't match because the, the front view is looking this way, but the side view is looking uh, actually the opposite side when it should be looking at the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on flip here. I think that should have worked. Oops. Yep. So basically, uh, click on flip on uh, the U option here. Uh, you might not need to do this. It depends on. It depends if in Photoshop you had it, you had your side image plane looking left or right. But I had it, uh, it was looking the other side. So I'm just going to go to Max, hit flip, so it flips the image. So basically now I can move it here. And now I have a very nice image plane set up. This is really nice and helpful. So basically, I'm just going to show you how accurate this is now. Uh, basically what I like to do is I like to select my image planes and only not up and down, only left or right or front to back. I'm going to move it on the y-axis, just move it back a bit because if you, if you see, if I press G on my keyboard, it's exactly in the middle. I don't want it to be in the middle. I want it to be further back, both of them. I want, them, I want both of them to be further back, but only in one direction. You do not want to move them 